Blizz here on the bottom side of the base. Ooh, hello, Tornado. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All the Super Wiz going to be doing the disco dance into the town hall. <sighs> Giant Bomb. Oh, they went poof. There's one HP on the town hall. Rip. Lexnos, Pedro, Mamba. No point and bloody spook. Taking on Tribe Gaming. Rips, not the real one. We got Virus, Nature Warrior, Nims, Chirag, and Tyson. And here we go. Virus in against my base. Bringing us a little sneaky goblin into Dragon Rider action with bats. Okie dokie. Sneakies for the town hall. He's gonna find the town hall right away. Sure. Invis spell. Ooh, he drops it correctly. Alrighty. Solid start here from Virus. Down goes my Town Hall. There's a few Teslas over there as well. King on the right side with a Wall Breaker with a double Ice Golem. Queen in behind. Grand Warden to help assess. Log Launcher to get us through the base. Baby Dragon on the outside. Did he use a Headhunter? No. Yes, he did. Headhunter was in. That Golem King is looking beefy as heck. Log Launcher going to help us get through the wall. Queen stepping up. Going for the Archer Tower. Alrighty. Log Launcher bust open the walls. We pop open. Or we pop the Warden ability. The Log Launcher is about to pop open. We Poison Spell for the Super Minions. Pop that King ability. Where's the Road Champion going to be utilized? I don't know. Queen's going down south. King guts the entire core. Poison Spell was pretty good or did he miss a Super Minion? Ooh, he actually missed a Super Minion. That could be important. We send the Dragon Riders from the south side of the base. Yetis will take out the scatter shot. That's important to note. Queen wraps back around. She's going to help the Dragon Riders and the Warden. Sure. Alrighty. He still has the Royal Champion used. He still has bat spells, dude. I think this is crushed unless he messes something up. His Royal Champion will take out that Wizard Tower, the first one. He could bat from 12 o'clock right now to kill the single or not. The bats were a little late. Rip that lassie. But as long as the road champion stays alive. But ooh, he's got to pop her ability. I don't think that was worth the freeze. Just pop her ability, dude. He could freeze. Well, he's got like 78 freezes. It doesn't matter. This is crushed. Holy heck. There goes the next freeze. He still has two more in the bag. And an RC ability. 35 seconds. Queen needs to stay alive. We're going to freeze the wizard tower. Should have hit the expo to keep queen alive. Ooh. She dies. Rip, but he still has time. Bats clear all the defenses. Freeze spell in the bag to swag. Minions on the right alongside the headhunter. Down goes the last collector. Freeze the storage to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. LOL with 10 seconds to spare. That's a three star all day long. Bloody Spook is in with the first attack for Nice Monkey. Bringing us Queen Charge March with lightning spells oh this man's is just crazy shoot zappy zappy action for the core of the base gets the eagle artillery and the multi-targeting inferno tower down okay interesting warden walk on the left side of the base he's got to be going for the other multi as well that is an interesting wall breaker over there he's gonna sneaky the town hall okay so the wall breaker was actually pretty good might need to get rid of that other collector first. We'll see. Yeah, bro, you gotta get rid of that collector. It's gonna cost him an extra sneaky, I think. Warden takes out the multi. He's still trying to focus on the town hall, though. CC troops are coming out, and they're going over to the Warden. Uh-oh, that could be rough. We got the invis. Drops it perfectly. Town hall secured. Beautiful start. We drop the queen to help him fight the lava dog. All right, do we have a poison spell? No, we do not, but that's not the end of the world. We got a couple archers to help support. We got a lot of archers to help support. Down goes the ice golem. Archers are still gonna be able to fight some of the pups while the queen and the warden are frozen. Okay, down go the pups and here we go. On the top side of the base, we find the Tesla farm right away. Log launcher, ooh. You get us all the way through the base. Golem out in front and here comes the barch. King on the outside to funnel. Oh, baby. We don't have any freezes, so we're just going to have to go with the Warden ability, I guess, to keep everybody alive through the scatter. He's got his Royal Champion that he's going to have to use at some point, somewhere else. 
He's being patient with this warden ability. Pops it right there. Scatter shot drops. We're going to get through the king with ease. King pops his ability over here on the outside of the base. Royal champions in from the three o'clock side. Yeti's in his CC. Only 57 seconds left to go, though. Was the Royal Champion too early? We got a Wall Breaker over there. That's not really going to do anything. We got a Jump Spell. Royal Champion pops the ability, even though she's at full health? Uh, I don't know about that. Everybody making their way through the core. We're going to Rage up the Barch. Healer's still alive. A Golem's still alive. I wish he still had RC ability, but he used it way too early. We're gonna get through the scatter shot, bro. This might work. Hold on. We're gonna get through all the defense on the south side of the base. We still got a queen ability. Still got one wizard in the bag. Ooh, it's gonna depend on which wall the queen picks, bro. She better be a smart queen. I swear. She better she better be a smart queen. Down goes the storage. We go for the gold mine. Which wall does she pick? She takes the jump. Eight, seven, six. We pop the ability. Four, three, two. What? No! Oh! He gets it! The Warden! What? Snipes it over the wall! And it's a three star for Bloody of Nice Monkey with the Barch! <laughs> Nims is in with the next attack for Tribe Gaming. Coming in with a little more sneaky Dragon Rider bat action. Okay. Okay. Let's see how he's gonna be able to do it here against Bloody's base. We're gonna sneak in the Town Hall. Pretty similar to the first attack of the match. Sneaky pulls the traps. One more test sneaky, even though... Oh, it does pull one more trap. Okay. There go the rest of the sneakies. Invis dropped perfectly. Down hall should drop. And what's next? Start the suey, my guy. Down hall took it out. Tornado trap pops. We get the CC pull as well. Wall break right on the corner. Yetis to funnel both sides. King. Queen, Warden, Log Launcher, Golem, Ice Golem. Everybody making their way inside the base. Here we go. Ego Artillery will go down. Queen's going to lock on to the Lava Dog. King gets out in front. He's going to pop his ability. Where's Queen going? Woo, we popped that Warden ability. Queen, she's stepping wonky. She's going to reroute back inside. We got the Poison Spell already placed. Log Launcher gives us access to the core but not to either of the sides. So we're gonna go with Dragon Riders from the left. Sure. We still got a Royal Champion to utilize. Lots of free spells as well. We're gonna go with RC from the left as well. Which means we won't be able to have anything get that right multi or the right scatter. Interesting. Interesting choice. We rage up on the left. Warden's still alive. Queen will get the core multi. Hopefully Queen can take out this enemy Royal Champion as well yes she will that's beautiful we're gonna go with bats from the top okay only three freezes this should allow us to keep the rc and dragon riders alive though which i like if they can tank the wizard tower and the scatter shot that would be beautiful oh bro oh he i don't think he needed that freeze that felt wasted there he goes with the first freeze on the back side we only got one freeze left better hold on to it nope he's gonna use it right away Ooh, he gets through it 55 seconds to go that's a triple all day long from nims of tribe gaming and what a way to kick things off in this match as they are now two for two okay nice monkey got their work cut out for them we're gonna need another three star just to keep up plenty of time to spare here the dragon rider bad attacks are working pretty well for tribe gaming here down goes the skelly trap 30 seconds to spare and it is indeed a three star mamba is in with the next attack for nice monkey bringing us a little blizz air spam okay blizz here on the bottom side of the base Ooh, hello tornado uh-oh uh-oh all the super whiz gonna be doing the disco dance into the town hall <sighs> giant bomb oh they went poof there's one hp on the town hall rip mamba Oh, gosh. We got the RC on the south side of the base. I don't even think her ability... Is it going to go for the town hall? Okay, yes. Nice invis. She'll get the town hall. Whew! That was scary. Thank you for the intro clip, Mamba. LOL. RC goes down. Baby dragon on the hound. Should be able to take it out. We don't have a poison spell, though. Oh, never mind. We pull it. Rip. 
Here we go with the dragons from the bottom left side of the base. King's gonna walk the wrong way. Ooh, funneling is hard. Mamba, what are you doing? We pop the hound. Dragons take it out pretty quickly. Queen on the top side. She might be able to kill the enemy queen with her ability. Ooh, she almost died through the ability. We pop the ward ability. Get through the single target inferno tower here. We still got King beaten on walls. We're gonna freeze the bottom side to get through the single. We still got our... Oh no, we don't have a royal champion to use. Had to use her to save the town hall. Shoot. We freeze the core. Hello, red bombs. Hello, seeking air mines. Goodbye, dragon rider. All right. We pop the king ability. He's getting stuck over here. We're gonna invis the enemy king. Still a lot of defenses to get through, man. We invis again. Oh gosh, how much percent can he get? Bro, it's about to be a nat 69. We freeze a Tesla, but miss the air defense? What? Oh gosh. We got minions on the outside of the base. That one gets sniped. We're not even going to get the nat 69. Nice try to Mamba. But it's going to fall short. And Nice Monkey continues to struggle in these friendly wars. No matter who I recruit on my team, we always find a way to struggle. Rip. Rip. We're going to fall short here. And Tribe Gaming with the lead now after the second round of attacks. This one's going to be, what, 66%? Got the minion for the skellies. Is he gonna be able to get the gold mine as well? Out of range? Yes, okay, 67. 67%. Poor Mamba. Nice try, but that tornado trap bait was pretty OP. Perfectly done there on Nims's base. Did that archer have enough time to get one more building? Uh, it might. 15, 14, 13, 12, 13, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, uh, bro, <laughs> the calculated archer at the last second for the 68%. Tyson is in with the next attack and bringing us queen charge super archers. Yes, here we go with a golem with seven zaps, pops the power potion, gets those max level troops. He's going to be doing some zappy zappy action here on the south side of the base. One more quake with the earthquake. Down goes the queen. Down goes the scatter shot. And we start with a little warden walk action on the bottom side of the base. Okie dokie. Healers on the warden. Sure. Ooh, there goes the queen right away. The warden walk only got like three buildings. Just for a little funnel, I guess. Sweet. Balloon on the right for the Archer Tower does not quite get it. We got one wall breaker. We're going to use it right there. Golem out in front. Sure. Going to have to get through this Golem King. Got more balloons and a Baby Dragon on the right. Here come the Super Archers. Do we have a Headhunter? Please? Headhunter? Please? That Headhunter was so late. RIP the Queen ability. We got the Jump Spell. We got the Wall Breaker. Interesting. We popped this Warden ability super duper early. Okay. Queen snipes the expo. Super Archer's gonna make their way in toward the jump. We got the king on the outside of the base. Here we go. Super Archer's gonna go to the core. It's looking good. King on the top side. We still got a row champion. Bro, he's gotta get all the way to that town hall. We got a battle blimp, but he already popped the warden ability. Super Archer's are beating through a wall. That's not good news. Not good news. We got the poison spell. Queen is low. We don't have any spells to keep her alive. Uh-oh. This could be bad for Tyson. Road champion on the top side. Super archers bust through the hound. Gonna be able to kill all the pups as well. Bro, what are those super archers doing over there? Oh my gosh, they're just as bad as the queen. Where's my, uh... My minus 200 IQ emote. Then they hit the giant bomb. LOL. Other super archers in the core. The battle blimp for the town hall was successful. He's got the 69% in climbing. Pog. RC pops her ability. No more spells. That single target Inferno Tower is about to pop off. Here we go. Single. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. Oh, yeah. Single prevails at 1 HP. Oh, but the Super Archers can reach it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I forgot. Super Archers got crazy range, dude. Uh, but they go for the Wizard Tower first. Single's gonna get another one. <laughs> Down she goes. And they're beating through a wall. What? Can they not reach that? Hello? King goes down? Headhunter? 
goes down? Bro, that single target Inferno Tower saving the base. But now they get it. Oh, no. Oh. Uh. No. Let's go. There's no more defenses. 96. 97. 14. Warden, stop shooting buildings. 98. No. We need a defense. 8. 7. 6. 5. He switches to a wall. <laughs> he learned from the Archer Queen. Nice. It's gonna be a defense for Nice Monkey when we need it the most. Pedro is in with the next attack. Poor Nice Monkey, we need a three star here. He's going in with a little zap action for this Lalo attack. Five lightnings and an earthquake, probably for the core multi. We're gonna haste Sneakies, okay. Down goes that storage. Should have already done the ones for the other side too. Oh, never mind. He can direct target the town hall, dude. Wait, get him going. He's gonna quake. Oh, he zaps the single. Okay. He's not gonna zap the core multi. Invis. Down goes the town hall. Sweet. Do we get a CC pull? No, we do not. Well, he got like an archer or two or three. I don't. I can't tell. One more sneaky on the left. Uh, make that three more sneakies on the left. Queen over there. Double archer coming out of the CC. King, not gonna go inside the wall break, or is he? Oh, the skelly trap pulls him back in. That's beautiful. Queen will go inside. We'll be able to fight the royal champion. Oh, she sends him back out. That collector goes down. King might go outside. Yep, rip the king, but it'll still tank the scatter shot long enough for the queen to get it down. Here comes a couple of headhunters out of the CC. He uses the first poison early. Still has a second poison in the bag. Queen gonna pop her ability. Down goes the lava dog. There goes the second poison. Okay. Okay. Poison spell drops. Uh, headhunters? No. Lava pups are dead, bro. I can't English today. Rip. And we start the Lalo here from the bottom side of the base with the Royal Champion just to grab a bunch of Archer Towers and stuff. Interesting. Not a whole lot of time left in this attack. Only 69 seconds left to go. I timed that perfectly. Down goes the Expo on the left. RC made her way to the core, but we didn't have any spells to keep her alive. We pop this ward ability super early. Headhunters to kill the enemy queen. Down they go. This core multi is going to do a lot of damage. We got a Dragon Rider over there. We're going to freeze up the Eagle and the core multi. Need the Dragon Rider to put in work. Dragon Rider's on the core multi. We might need to freeze it again. There goes the last freeze. Air Skellies are being very pesky. We get some balloons to split down there. The multi on the top side is doing a lot of damage. Sprinkles in his last few balloons on the top side, but the multi stays up. Dragon Rider is low. Down it goes. We lose the last balloon, and it's a fail. No. Rip Pedro. Not able to get it done here for Nice Monkey. Yikers. Warden's going to take out the Expo? No, not even that. The base is just too OP. Too OP. How much percent can we get? That minion does not have time to get the CC building in the core, which means it's going to be an 82% attack for Pedro. Nice try, but it's an OP defense. Chirag is in with the next attack for Tribe Gaming. Coming in with a little Rocket Loon action with a Bat Spell. Okay. Six Bat Spells, 12 Rocket Loons, one Jump Spell. Very interesting. Eight Ice Golems. Oh my. Battle Blimp on the top side. Here we go. Ooh, is it baited? Oh! Oh! Is it a Sneaky Blimp? It is! Oh! But he's got a Wall Breaker? Yo, the invis to redirect him? What? Chirag? <laughs> it's like he calculated that he was gonna blimp fail. LOL. He gets the town hall. Oh my gosh, the five head play from Chirag. Wow. Queen on the south side of the base. Gonna walk to the left, King and Warden to help out. Lots and lots of ice golems. Here we go. Yak is gonna beat through the wall. We're going to freeze up the Expo and the Scattershot. Pop that King ability. Queen gets through the storage. We pop the Warden ability, but we missed the Barbarian King. The King goes down. We got a jump spell to help out. Lots and lots of Ice Golems in front of that Queen, but she's going to get stuck on the Hound. 
I don't know if this Sui push <clears throat> is going to get as far as he wants. He needed the king to stay alive a lot longer than that. We got a rage spell to help out at least. There goes the poison to deal with the pops. Row champion on the right side and a Valkyrie in behind. Okay. Remember, he's got rocket loons. He's got bats. He's sprinkling in rocket loons from the top side of the base already. Trying to snipe some of these defenses. He probably needs to snipe both those wizard towers still. RC pops her ability. Can she get the scatter shot, please? Yes, she will. Queen will get the other scatter. Hopefully, she gets the multi as well. Rocket loons are in for the wizard towers. Down they go. There's not a whole lot of splat. Oh, Queen does not get the multi or the wizard tower. That's a rip. That's a rip for Chirag, bro. That kill squad did not get the value he needed. He's going to go with bats from the right side of the base just to try and maximize percent. They're going to get several buildings. He could freeze the multi once. And that's it. There goes the freeze for the multi. He's got archers and wizards on the left side of the base trying to get as much percent as possible. But it's a huge defense for Nice Monkey, which means we're back in it. We got another chance here if we can get some more three stars. Down go these buildings on the right. The wizard died on the left. Archer has enough time to get the barracks on the left as well. 67. He's going to get the 69. I think he might get 70. Might get 71. Oh, he ends it. He manually ends it at 69% for the four-star attack. Pog. HH no point. Is in with a little zappy zappy Lalo action. Against Tyson's base. We need a three-star here to catch back up. And he's going in with the zaps on the top side. Grabs the scatter shot. What? Did he miss one? Oh my gosh, we're throwing! Uh, King and Queen on the right side. Scatter shot at 1 HP. Rip. Log launcher to help the King and the Queen. He didn't bring an earthquake. No, he did. I don't know what happened. He missed one of his zaps. Oh, jeez. Log launcher gonna get us into the core. We still gotta fight CC troops. That log launcher is gonna take out the upper multi all by itself. Cool. Got a wizard to help support on the bottom side. Here come the CC troops. Queen, snipe the headhunters, please. Queen. Queen! Thank you. Valkyrie. Yetis are helping out as well. Double here on the top side. We're going to send Roa Champion on the top side of the base. She'll finish off the scatter shot. Down it goes. She'll get some extra value on top of that. Unicorn keeping this queen alive. We need the queen to kill all the pups and hopefully both heroes. RC is going to go to ability. Can she one-shot that queen for us, please? Yeah. Boom! Takes out the queen. We don't have a poison spell? Sir? How do you not bring a poison spell? When you're gonna suey into the CC? Oh, he did. He missed it. I don't know where he used the poison. But oh well. Lalo through the town hall. Here we go. Gonna have to freeze up the town hall. Maybe even twice. He's gonna Lalo from the backside as well. There was the first freeze. Nice. We pulled the tornado before we even get there. Beautiful. We haste on the backside. There's a Tesla farm there. That scatter shot's gonna be annoying. We got headhunters. We're gonna have to pop this warden ability over the town hall. Yes, perfectly timed. But these balloons don't take out the scatter. There's a multi in the core. Ooh, this is gonna be rough to get through. Headhunters do take out the road champion, but there's too much splash for these balloons. Lava pup's still alive on defense. Rip. Rip. Down go all the balloons. Warden's gonna die as well. Shoot. Down goes Grand Warden. Down goes Nice Monkey's hopes and dreams of a three star in this attack. Yikers. How much percent can he get though? 30 seconds left. Owl's still alive. Minions on the top side can grab a couple of buildings. Oofing. Barely gonna get around the 80% mark. A little bit higher than that, I guess. A little bit higher. The archer does not have enough time to grab the collector, I don't think, but we will get the pet house. We might get that storage in the next eight seconds. Owls tries to get two more buildings, grabs the bomb tower, might not have enough time to get the storage. Three, two, one, and it's going to fall short at 81%. Nature Warrior is in with the final attack for Tribe Gaming. Seven healers 
69 barbs and 69 archers. Huh? This man's is actually coming in with the double 69. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Yeti bomb on the left side of the base. Okay. With no spells, they take out the Inferno Tower. Get the CC pool. Sure. Snipe the cannon as well. First archer on the left to pull the hound on over. Here we go. Queen walk gonna start there on the left side of the base. She's gonna fight the hound first. Sure. There goes the poison spell. Seven healers. No way he uses all seven on the queen, right? He's using a lot of barch over here to try and funnel. But a bunch of Teslas pop up and those barch troops don't get a whole lot of value. Interesting. Queen on the left side. She's going to continue walking down. We should be wall breaking her in toward the scatter. I reckon. There we go. Four healers for her. We've only got two balloons that we could use to test for seeking air mines. So we've got to be very careful with how he uses them. First rage on the queen is in. Healers get raged up. We already lost that poor unicorn. Rip. There goes the Coco Loon. Searching for any traps. And he finds the Seeking Air Mine. Beautiful. Arch on the south side of the base to help funnel for the queen. Wall break all the way to the core. That is successful. Beautiful wall break. We got one more wall breaker in the bag. What's he going to do here? King going in for the scatter. Sure. With the warden on ground mode. Here we go. Barge in behind the king. Queen takes out the core multi. We're going to rage her up again. We can jump her all the way to the town hall. Ooh, I like it. We pop this warden ability. Keep everybody alive through the bomb tower and the scatter shot. We take out the enemy king. We got royal champion with another three healers from the right side of the base. Queen has to go to ability. Uh-oh. Might need to rage her up again. I think we lost some healers. Only two left in the middle. King and Yak... Moving through the middle of the base. RC still alive with healers. We invis the queen. Down goes the town hall. He still has a lot of archers left. Queen's still alive with one healer raged up. She's going to get the expo. RC still looking healthy. There goes a freeze to help everybody out. We got RC ability. We got a rage. No freaking way. This is about to triple. Bro, what? Wall break on the outside. Although it's not going to do a whole lot. RC gets through the cannon. Healers switch to the warden because they're being a dummy. Oh, this might time fail. He needs to send all the archers from the bottom. And he does. Sneaky goblin as well. Rage the RC. Pop her ability. Oh, the ability was too early. We go with the freeze. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Rip. The 97% time fail. With the double 69 barch attack. <laughs> Here we go with the final attack of the match. The double charge super archer smash with a log launcher. Let's see if we can make it work against nature warriors base. I had a whole 30 seconds to plan this attack. LOL. Let's go. Three archers to funnel over there. Queen right here. I want her to walk down and skip the eagle. Don't you dare make me rage yet. Thank you. Boom, boom. Okay, that'll work. Wall break there. Hello, Tesla. Super Archer there. Ooh, lots of crap. I'm just going to use the king. Screw it. We're going to use the king to funnel. Wizard is in. Log launcher. Boom. Super Archer will take out the Eagle Artillery. This range is a little late. Crap. Don't you dare pop the ability. Ah! Oh, I did not hit the scatter. We're still okay. LOL. Looking pretty good. Good 
Spin the Warden. Poison Spell. Ooh. Freeze once there. Freeze the Queen again. Freeze there. Minion, minion. Oh, I forgot to use my Warden ability. Let's pop it there. Keep everybody alive. Invis the Queen. Bro, this is gonna work! <laughs> I like it. Warden with the Super Archers on the top side of the base. LOL. Queen gets the Town Hall. Royal Champion charge still looking strong. We got one more spell in the bag. OP. Super Archers are still looking healthy as well. Boom, boom. Get everybody going in. We got RC ability. We got Queen ability. We got an invisibility spell to swag, and it's a three star. It's a three star for your boy Lex Toast of Nice Monkey. We can pop both abilities. Swag the invis. Boom, bada bam, bada bang. It's a three star all day long, and we check out the stats. As I think it's gonna be a tie on stars. 12 to 12, and the victory. No! Dang it. It's a win for Tribe Gaming. 92.8%. 86.2.